Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am vlogging on my old camera today just because the other one is dead. I'm headed to two events right now and ignore the mess behind me. I feel like whenever I get ready for like an event, I don't know what to wear and I'm just like throwing things everywhere. I also have received a lot of mail that I ordered from last week. Some brands take a long time to get shipped, but um, I'm actually wearing some of the new makeup that I ordered, including the Tartlet eye palette. I always use my NARS one, but I wanted something a bit more like neutral color. And the Tartlet one by Tarte is like the perfect nudes. Am I right? My NARS one has a bit more of like a pink tone to them, but these I'm just loving for the nude. I also like in a palette that some are shimmer and some are matte. I don't like all matte. I don't like all shimmer. I need a mix of both. I need my darks to blend out and I need a ton of lights because I love a light eyeshadow. So I'm wearing that eyeshadow today and I'm also wearing the Charlotte Tilbury eyeliner pencil. If you can see it right here, it's like a really pretty like purple color. And I'm also wearing, I also got the Charlotte Tilbury what is this called contour wand bronzer in like cool little pen and you can see like already my cheek is like defined I already blended it in so I just did that to demonstrate but loving this it was sold out at Sephora so I had to order it on charlottetilbury.com but I think it'll be coming back in Sephora because the Charlotte Tilbury order took like a week to get shipped and delivered so Anyway, I'm headed to two events. The first one is for a fragrance company and the second one is for skincare. The second event is actually where I used to work. Um, I used to work there, so let's see if I recognize anybody. But yeah, the first event is at Saks Fifth Avenue. So I'm gonna head there now. Let me share with you what I'm wearing. I have not put away my faux leather joggers from Spanx. Obsessed with these. It's perfect like a vent pant because the one they're so comfortable and like stretchy but they also like look really put together and then i'm wearing this like cute little wrap top from revolve i know they don't make this anymore but it's a cute little wrap comfortable top and i'm wearing my ohm earrings these are my favorite gold hoops they are 100 gold i get asked about these earrings all the time and they have a cool like shape to them they're not just like a regular circle and they don't tarnish because they are gold and I absolutely love these, and I will leave these linked down below. But anyway, we are he I'm headed to the event. Now we're on to event number two at Public Hotel. Wait until I tell you about the fragrances I just smelled. I'll probably tell you about that tomorrow because now we're going to have some champagne. Look at the amazing views. <laughs> I literally just said let me do a quick check-in before I get drunk because one I'm at the second event the first event was a perfume event at Saks Fifth Avenue the brand is called Initio and basically their whole vibe is everything that I love which is like a rich scent they're all different I honestly smelled like 20 of them so they all were really good a lot of them have like rose and oud so if you like that kind of vibe definitely is a brand you will basically fall in love with every fragrance and now we are at the second event and we are enjoying some spicy margaritas this is for it's for a new product launch at Zio skincare I can't show you what the product looks like because it launches in two weeks but we are at this gorgeous venue so I want to share with you what it looks like so I actually used to work here by the way so I do recognize some of my local workers so it's always fun to be back the view is amazing here I do think it's the best view in New York for a bar an event how beautiful.
a start to a new day. We had so much fun at the event yesterday and there was like this glitter rim on the cocktails and there's glitter all over my phone, all over this camera. So that's interesting. I actually don't mind it on the camera because it looks kind of cool. And by the way, yes, this is my old camera I'm using it just because I'm using my other camera to film a sit down video right now. I have everything set up. I have a ring light, a little tripod. It's a whole hot mess behind here. I actually am cleaning out all of my dresser drawers because I don't know if you, this is a problem for you, but like cheaper dressers, the bottom part of the shelf is like this like plywood or this cheap cardboard type wood. And because my things are so heavy, all of the wood is like pulling down. So a little project that I'm going to do this week is to take out all of my shelves. And then I found this like little hack on YouTube where you put nails where the shelves should go. So that's why everything is basically on top of my dresser. But I wanted to share with you one of the items that I got from one of the events. And the other item is a skincare product. It's not launching yet, so I will show you it when it launches. But I did get a sample kit of all of the perfumes that I smelled yesterday. Like, I'm so excited for this. There are six small fragrances in here, which I love because it's like the perfect travel size. So a good way to like kind of get used to the fragrance. So let me show you what it looks like. And this packaging is just so gorgeous. So I think it's just So there are six fragrances in here. And I think they're all on the back. We have Rehab Side Effect, Oud for Greatness, Musk Therapy, Atomic Rose, and Bless Baraka. So I think I really like the Atomic Rose. It's a bit more sweeter. I loved Side Effect. Oh. <laughs> I was trying to find what fragrance it is. They're on the bottle. This is Bless Baraka. I think Alsanya wants that one. Right? <laughs> Side Effect. Oh, here's my Atomic Rose. This, they're all so good. If you know me, I do love like a niche perfume. You know what? Today, I'm gonna put on Rehab because it's a bit different than what I usually go for and there's a vanilla in this one. Mm. And how perfect is this size? It'll fit in my bag perfectly. Which by the way, for my last vlog, I was like freaking out because I could not find my travel bag still has yet to be found so i will keep you updated so anyway right now i'm going to be filming a um walmart fashion haul video this shirt that i'm wearing is actually from walmart it's 100 percent cotton and it's like a super easy casual blouse and i believe this one's on sale i believe it's eight dollars so a great find it's super comfortable a bit sheer but so cute right it's just an easy top to wear so i'm loving this shirt but today after i filmed that i'm going to a jean preview and then today is national cocktail day so elsa you and i we are going to go all the way downtown and grab a drink at a new cocktail bar i'm really excited about today's video i have a full walmart fashion haul for you guys all of these items are great for spring summer bold patterns, really, really fun things, and everything is super affordable. So without further ado, let's get started in today's video. All right, done filming for the day. Now I'm headed out to see a spring preview for Mobby jeans. So I had to put on my high-waisted Mobby jeans, and it's a bit chilly today. So I have my wool coat on, a cute little tan sweater. So I'm headed down to Hudson Yards via bike. Love my biking. <laughs> Thank you. I all classy and the and yeah. Look how cool. They have beautiful today. Direct sun or like off sun? And we recommend direct sun. Direct sunlight. Click in a windowsill. So now we are going to celebrate National Cocktail Day. That's tomorrow, right now, at a cute little spot. So it's giving major speakeasy vibes in the basement it's called lullaby and we're gonna have some craft time for a drink <laughs> drinks plural plural multiple drinks we are gonna have a lot of after work day celebrations this week just because i feel like we work a lot yep it's good to have a little drink to celebrate cheers <laughs> 
So we just had some cocktails at Lullaby. Super cool cocktail bar. We had some really unique drinks. And now, because we're in the East Village and starving, we are going to get some burritos to go. And this is my absolute favorite burrito place in New York. Best burritos ever. The shrimp ones are amazing, so we ordered a takeout. Yeah, we're just waiting for them to fill up it seriously. Like, the shrimp burritos are insane. I would eat this, like, every week when I used to live in the neighborhood for takeout. Secure the bag. <laughs> oh my god. How long? Like, I think it's been two years. Oh so we made it back from our bike ride from all the way downtown and it's about 50 blocks that we just biked so i'm a little out of breath but we have the burrito i like just remember all of their packaging it comes with a hot sauce and a green sauce the burrito itself is like this big chunky burrito the shrimp is like the best shrimp ever i'm gonna cut this in half because sometimes i just eat half but it is literally the best honestly it's like a little takeout spot it's called El Diablito is on 3rd Street. Well, hello, good morning. It is Friday and I'm so excited. Yesterday really felt like Friday, so today is actually Friday and I'm actually at El Senio's house just because we are headed together to do a collaboration that I'm working on for Instagram. We are going to the Museum of Ice Cream. Yes, there is such a thing in New York. I actually have never been to it. I know you get like free ice cream samples, learn about ice cream and then like go through like colorful installations. So we'll see how it is. It sounds like so much fun actually. I think there's like a fun ice cream pit. Like you can go down a slide and like jump into um, sprinkles, but we're gonna have a fun time there. And then it's Friday and we have been talking about our trip to Italy that we do. Well now I guess it's tradition because we go every year. And today we are finally going to book our flights and then kind of map out what we are wanting to do. Usually in Italy, we always go to the south and I've never been to the north of Italy. But yes, of course we are going to the south, but the first half of the trip, I wanna explore the northern part of Italy and see Venice, Florence, Milan, and maybe some other towns, maybe like a day trip to Tuscany to do like a wine tour, travel planning session. And then later tonight we have dinner in Brooklyn, Italian dinner. So it's gonna be a fun little Italian night, but we are headed now shortly to go downtown to Soho. And I wanna share with you something that I bought online and I'm like obsessed with it. So I bought a cup shoe swimsuit. You know I love cup shoe, but I actually went ahead and bought the swimsuit because it was so freaking cute. I could not let it like pass up. I know some of their styles, they don't really restock it, restock it after they sell out. So like I had to have this, like let me show you. This is a dupe for an L space swimsuit and it's basically like a third of the price. So I tried it on and it fits perfectly. So this is what the swimsuit looks like. It is a high-waisted bottom and like this is a very popular top style right now. This is like a gorgeous minty light sage blue kind of color and like with a tan how pretty is this? So this is a size large and sometimes cup sheet larges are either kind of tight at the bottom or they fit fine. The large bottoms do not tug me at all. So the large bottoms fit perfectly and the top fits like a gem, I'm telling you. Like they have a wire, they have removable padding. They do have this clasp back, which I don't love for bigger busts because sometimes if you need your clasp tighter, you need it tight, but the actual smallest one fit me fine for a size large and together this set is $36, which is amazing. All right, since I talked so much about the swimsuit, I might as well just try it on for you. This is what it looks like. How freaking cute is this color? I'm obsessed with it. Having a top fit me like this perfectly for a budget is like amazing. That's why I'm like raving about the swimsuit set. And the bottoms are like a high rise sort of cut like this. So in the back it's high rise, but in the front, it like kind of comes down just a little bit. So I'm like loving that. I also ordered this cover up, which has, which is similar to my other cup sheet cover up that I'm obsessed with. But this one is a bit more of like a cream color. The other one's more light. And this one is definitely longer than the other one. But I like how this is more of a skin color tone versus white. And like how cute is this? This is giving me like major Tulum vibes, Mykonos, or like just going to the beach wherever you go to the beach. But the inspiration of this style is just so bohemian, so cute. This is a size large. Sometimes with our knit crochet cover-ups, it could be kind of big. 
but this one, it does stretch, but a large fits perfectly. Um. Here's the museum, it's super pink. We are just waiting in a short line to get inside, but look how pink this interior is, it's so cute. A few moments, you get to come up with your own ice cream name as well, y'all, and it could be whatever you want it to be. Your favorite treat, your favorite flavor, your favorite topping, your favorite candy. More ice cream. Hello, the of Soho. Wow, they're busy. Love that one. Oh my god. Wait, I have to take this off. It's so much. So I have cookie monster and lemon sorbet. Can I try? <laughs> so we just finished the museum of ice cream. How'd you like it? It was so much fun. Yeah, like it it's like being a little kid all over again. Yeah, you get ice cream three times. Yeah, so and some popsicle. enough ice cream. Definitely filling yeah. and worth the money. I only got two of the three because I was full already. Yeah. Um, but even though it's about ice cream, but like there's so many like fun rooms, and my highlight of the trip was you slide. going down the slide and I heard your laugh like echo throughout the whole <laughs> downstairs it was freaking hilarious so the slide goes down two stories yes so it's hilarious. pretty steep and it's really fun because you go around um in like a loop yeah but it's it's cool because you get to feel like a kid again so and definitely yeah. good for kids as well oh yes definitely now we're taking advantage of riding our bikes down the west side highway and then oh I forgot to mention that the spring blooms are like just popping out. I think the pink and white trees, I don't know what they're called, starting to bloom more. But if we spot any on the way, I will point it out. But we're gonna continue our bike ride. How many blocks is it? 50 some blocks? Two miles. But we have e-bikes, so it's not that hard. <laughs> In the museum, there was like this pit of like ice cream sprinkles. It was the funniest thing ever just because they're trying to get a photo of me, but I was ungracefully falling in the pit. I will insert some clips of that. It was just hilarious. We are in Brooklyn. So pretty during sunset. So Al and I, we are having dinner in Brooklyn, which is something that we normally don't do, but we're going to a new restaurant. It's called Machina, Italian restaurant. And I miss that because we have not had Italian food in a while. And it's always good to get out of the neighborhood. We have found the restaurant. Yep. Now we're looking at the looking cocktail at the menu. Cocktail menu. Gonna get a spicy margarita. You know how we do. <laughs> yeah, we'll do. You, don't, you don't like to try different things. Maybe we should try something different, no? So we have our drinks. I ordered a spicy margarita. And Ow. I got a like a truffle dry martini. It's really good. And strong. I think the truffle is inside of the olives. So Ooh, nice. I don't know how the truffle tastes, but it's pretty strong. Nice. Cheers. cheers. Isn't it bad luck if you cheers without sipping? Well, let me sip. Whoa. We ordered the ricotta meatballs and the mac and cheese. Meatballs. Balls. <laughs> ricotta meatballs. <laughs> it smells so good. And like the portions are huge. So we are going to dig in and eat. We also got dessert and so they give us this like chocolate chip kind of dessert. And there's a syringe with it. <laughs> you just it's like icing inside of the syringe. Okay, so let's see. Whoa. Oh, it's a little topper. I think you put it in the cookie. Like a syringe. Oh, okay. 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm thinking you actually put it on the top. Okay. Right? So back from Brooklyn, my makeup looks a bit crazy because it was literally just about to wash it off so i put water all over my face but i wanted to close out the video before i took all of my makeup off so we are going to plan our italy trip tomorrow i guess just because it got a little late but we'll have to work out the details tomorrow just because we have not been anywhere in three months that is a long time that we have not been anywhere and we are now we are just like wanting to travel so much so we wanted to book things before it's too late because it's so with that i hope you guys have an awesome day awesome week and i will see you guys in the next one bye